Hello, David from David Savory Electrical here, and today I'm playing with the Time Guard LED floodlight to show you why it should be the installer's choice for any new or replacement floodlight applications. And let me introduce you to the Time Guard range of LED floodlights. Now, I particularly like these, these are the, uh, the floodlights I'm going to be fitting from now on because they are made for the installer in mind. I have a article on my website, very boring I'm sure it is, that explains about all this, but I'm going to go through it on the video here. Uh, what we'll do is we're going to unbox this fella, which I've just picked up from Edmondson's today. Uh, they do cost a little more than uh, most LED floodlights, so you can find cheaper ones out there. Uh, personally I'm not a fan of uh, a lot of the cheaper ones, but like I say, this has the installer in mind and I should demonstrate why. This um, is made to be installed a lot quicker and easier than perhaps some of its competitors. And what we'll do is we'll just compare it to this um, Macad 20 watt floodlight that I was playing with uh, on a previous video just to see what the differences are and uh, what the uh, annoyances are when it comes to installing this sort of thing. First of all, as you open the box, one of the first things you'll notice is that the bracket is already detached. That's very nice because if you have a traditional floodlight, the first thing you've got to do to get it on the wall is there's no way you're going to be able to drill and screw through the bracket as it is. So you've got to take that off, which invariably means using a spanner because they're usually bolted on. And of course, it also means you've got all these little extra components, these washers and stuff. And remember that most of the time when you're installing one of these things, you're going to be up a ladder. So it's always a pain in the ass when the bolt or the washer or some little component part drops down into the flower bed below because you know you are not going to be finding that again. Um, so yeah, that's always a pain. So you've got to take the bracket off to start with. The time card comes with the bracket already detached time saving but notice this as well. No adjustable spanner required because we have standard um, fuzzy screws. So we can use just a screwdriver which is a lot easier to manipulate up a ladder than pissing around with an adjustable spanner. And notice as well that the screws are captive. They're not going to drop off. Now that is fantastic. That's obviously someone who's put a bit of thought into the uh, installation there, but that's not where the bracket uh, stops giving. It's the bracket that keeps on giving because, again, if we go back to most floodlight brackets, we have uh, the problem where they, for some reason, put in these bizarrely sized holes. I mean, <laughs> what kind of screw do they think I'm going to be putting through that? A coach bolt or something? Obviously, I'm going to have to find a washer to go around that, and if I haven't got any washers on the van, then I'm in a spot of bother because I've got to find something to shrink that hole down to accommodate a standard screw with, say, a 4mm head or something like that. Again, time guard, yeah, no problem there, look at that. Straight through, no messing about, no problem trying to find washers, we are in like Flynn. So, we're already a few positives up just with the bracket alone, but it doesn't end there, the goodness just keeps on coming. Let's actually take the thing out of the box and see what we're playing with. Ah oh, yes, now that's what I want to see, look at that. Chances are, if you're replacing the floodlight that's already installed, of course, it's already wired in and all you want to do is disconnect the old floodlight and connect the new one using the cable that's already there. Now I don't know why the LED floodlights are being supplied with these pre-wire cables, obviously that's to maintain the IP rating because unlike a halogen floodlight, you've got an electronic driver in there which uh, provides some like moisture. But in the case of this BG one, it was an IP67 rated driver so moisture's not going to give it too much of a headache anyway even if uh, it did get uh, a bit damp in there. So they really didn't need to bother um, going to the lengths of pre-wiring it. Uh, they could just as easily have provided a terminal block as Time Guard have done here. So I can take my existing wire and terminate it directly into there and then of course and close it off with the cover to maintain its IP rating. Um, even if it's a new installation then that means that I can just run my cable directly to the floodlight itself or via the PIR or whatever switch or whatever it's going to uh, and I don't have to mess about with some kind of external junction, some kind of IP box on the wall which is going to look ugly and have to connect a bit of pre-wired flex to uh, my new cable um, uh, that's coming out of the uh, house. So 
brilliant. That's exactly what I want to see, and that is in itself uh, a massive time-saving measure. Uh, you notice as well it's got two cable entry points, like in that, two cord grips, so your cable can come in from left or right, or you can daisy chain it. Let's say you've got um, your PIR or your feed coming in, it can go off to a second light without um, compromising the IP rating of the device. So there you have it, several reasons why the Time Guard is a nicer unit for the installer. Uh, in terms of it being a nicer unit for the customer, well, it's uh, quite an attractive design. Uh, nice and light, you've got this uh, cob arrangement with the LEDs there and a uh, heatsink on the back. Uh, it does come, it says on the box, with a three year guarantee. Uh, I've not had any fail on me yet, so I've not had to try to, um, to test that. Uh, guarantee, but uh, I'm presuming that uh, if I have any trouble, I can go back to Edmondson's and uh, they won't uh, won't have any problems uh, refunding or replacing uh, the unit. But uh, hopefully, uh, we won't see anything like that. Only time will tell. But uh, I like it. I'm going to be installing it from now on. And uh, if you are an installer, I recommend that uh, it's um, something you give a go. So uh, show the uh, the people who make these things that they really need to think about. Uh, those of us who are up a ladder uh, and fighting to get their products on the wall, as Time Guard have done here, but as most of the manufacturers don't seem to bother with.